Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I hope you are doing great and always safe wherever you are located. First, allow me to introduce myself. I am Mark Primacio Laurenti, the assigned video lecturer on mathematical language and symbols. Now, with this topic on mathematical language and symbols, we have the uh, following objectives. The first one is to classify group of words or symbols as mathematical expressions or mathematical sentences and identify the verbs in mathematical sentences. Now, what's the importance of language? According to Cheryl, one very important element in a student's mathematical success is his competence to communicate mathematically. Herman Well contributes that just as everybody must strive to learn language and writing before he can use them freely for expression of his thoughts, here to there is only one way to escape the weight of formulas. It is to acquire such power over the tool that, unhampered by formal techniques, one can turn to the true problems. Language is a necessary tool in the communication process. Good communication requires understanding. Everyone needs to firstly understand the language used in communicating to successfully transmit ideas from one to another. Imagine the following scenario. You're in a math class. An instructor passes a piece of paper to each student. It is announced that the paper contains study strategies for students of mathematics and that you are to read it and make comments. Upon glancing at the paper, however, you observe that it is written in a foreign language that you do not understand. Now, is the instructor being fair? Will the student be able to receive the ideas being transmitted by the instructor? Definitely, the answer to these questions is a big no. The instructor is probably trying to make a point. Although the ideas in the paragraph may be simple, there is no access to the ideas without a knowledge of the language in which the ideas are expressed. This situation has a very strong analogy in mathematics. People frequently have trouble understanding mathematical ideas, not necessarily because the ideas are difficult, but because they are being presented in a foreign language, the language of mathematics. Now, what's the uh, characteristics of mathematics language? Like any other language, mathematical language also has unique characteristics that help mathematicians to easily convey the thoughts or ideas they want to express. These characteristics also help every individual to communicate mathematically without the fear of being misinterpreted. Some important characteristics of mathematical language are as follows. First, It must be precise. What do you mean by precise? It enables shared ideas or thoughts to be interpreted accurately with very fine distinctions. It prevents ambiguous interpretation of the transmitted ideas or thought. Another one is concise. It enables ideas or thoughts to be expressed completely and briefly. Third, powerful. It enables to one express complex thoughts with relative case. Another, devoid of emotional content. What do you mean by this? Unlike other languages, it doesn't give importance to associating emotions, feelings, and expressing thoughts or ideas. In communicating mathematically, sender doesn't need emotions to successfully transmit ideas to its receiver. Last, non-temporal. What do you mean by this? 
it emphasizes that there is no past, present, or future time in the process of mathematical communication. Everything is in is form. It is important to keep in mind that the language of mathematics can easily be learned, but it requires the efforts needed to learn any foreign language. Now, to talk about this parts of speech or mathematics, just like any ordinary language, mathematics also has syntax and structure, which can be categorized into five forms. Numbers are the very first symbols that can be used to represent quantity. These are nouns in the English language. Operation symbols like addition sign, quotient sign, caret, and reverse caret can act as connectives in a mathematical sentence. Relation symbols such as equality, greater than or equal to and tilde are used for comparison and act as verbs in the mathematical language. Grouping symbols such as parentheses, braces, and bracket are used to associate group of numbers and operators. Variables are letters that represent quantities and act as pronouns. In the English language, a part of speech necessary in constructing an idea expressing a complete thought as a noun. And any idea that expresses a complete thought is called sentence. In mathematics, we also have nouns and sentences. Expressions are the mathematical version of noun. In mathematics, it is also defined as a name given to a mathematical object or interest. This, however, does not state a complete thought. On the other hand, the mathematical version of sentences is called sentences, and this expresses facts or opinions that gives complete thought. For illustration, we will try to compare the nouns and sentences in mathematical language to that in English language. See the following table. So we have the examples of nouns and sentences. So for the English, we have the nouns, Lisa, Black, Pink, Marawi City, and uh, birthday. And then we also have nouns for this mathematics, which are the following. We have five, two plus three, one half, x minus one. Now for the sentences. So going back to English, Lisa is a member of the K-pop girl group, which is Blackpink. And the capital of the Philippines is Marawi City. And then we also have Jenny invites those to her birthday tomorrow. Now, with the mathematics, we have 2 plus 3 equals 5. And we have 5 minus 2 equals 4 times x. And then we have negative 1 is equal to 0. It can be observed from this table that all sentences numbered 1 are true sentences, whereas the sentences numbered 2 are false. The third examples are sentences that states an opinion, which is either true or false. It is true that Jenny invites Rose to her birthday party tomorrow if Jenny really does. But if she doesn't, then that sentence is false. Similarly, x minus 1 is equal to 0 is true when x equals 1. However, this is false when x is not equal to 1. This simply means that sentences are ideas that can be either be true or false, but not both. In the English language, we have synonyms and antonyms. Synonyms are defined as words having the same meaning, while words having opposite meanings are called antonyms. Similarly, in mathematics, we also have synonyms and antonyms. Expressions that can be expressed definitely are called synonyms. Examples of this are the following. The expression 8 can also be expressed as 5 plus 3, 16 over 2, 2 to the power 3. We have the state of minus 3 plus 1, and then we can have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, or you have 4 times 2, and so on. Another one, the expression 5 times 2 can also be expressed as 2 times 5, or 1 times 2 times 5, and so on. 
Endonyms in mathematics exist and are called inverses. There are two different types, the additive inverse and the multiplicative inverse. Note, every real number always has an additive and multiplicative inverse. The real number eight has an additive inverse, which is negative eight, and its multiplicative inverse is one over eight. The additive inverse of the expression negative three over seven is positive three over seven, while its multiplicative inverse is negative seven over three. We denote the additive inverse of any real number a as negative a and its multiplicative inverse by a to the negative one. Multiplicative inverses are commonly known as reciprocals. Now for conventions, languages have conventions. In English, for example, it is conventional to capitalize proper names like Anna and Japan. This convention makes it easy for a reader to distinguish between a common noun like Carol, a person song, and a proper noun like Carol, a person. Mathematics also has its conventions, which help readers to distinguish between different types of mathematical expressions. Mathematical conventions are defined as sets of facts, names, notations, which are widely used in the area of mathematics. Mathematicians abide by conventions in order to allow readers to understand what they write without constantly redefining basic terms. For instance, the fact that one evaluates multiplication before addition in the expression two plus three times four is merely conventional since PEMDAS is mathematical convention. Another one is letter conventions. In mathematics, letters often have special uses. For example, letters at the beginning of English alphabet usually mean constant or fixed values. In the general equation y equals ax plus b. In this given equation, people may assume that a and b are fixed value and x is the one that changes which in turn makes y change. Aside from that letters from I to N, that is J, K, L, M, N, usually mean positive integers and letters at the end of English alphabet, that is X, Y, Z, usually mean variables or unknowns. Note that letter conventions are not rules, but they are often used as such in the world of mathematics. Now I would like you to watch this video of Randy Palisuk. This is about math is it hard? It's a language. So for the uh, references of this video lecture, you have the following. And that's for all. Allow me to share to you the quote of Shakuntala Devi. Have a good day, everyone, and God bless us all.